Hello, everyone, and welcome to Holy Week Art History with me, your host, Ms. Bannon. This is our final session on Da Vinci's The Last Supper. You might remember that in the first video, I mentioned that The Last Supper is one of the world's most famous works of art. And that is true. And it's not just because of the craftsmanship, the skill, the history of the piece, um, the divine subject matter, the beauty of it. We also know that it's an amazing work of art because other famous artists have been so inspired by the piece that they've created their own unique works of art based on The Last Supper. And so today I want to share some of those with you. They're really interesting and they're really fun. I hope you enjoy them. So let's get started with our first one here. Oops, there we go. Ah, yes. This is a painting by Salvador Dali. Uh, it was done in 1955. Uh, he was a Spanish painter. It hangs in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. It's called The Sacrament of the Last Supper. It's nine feet long. It's quite large. Um, it's oil on canvas. Uh, so for those of you who don't know Salvador Dali, he was a surrealist painter. So his images were very dreamlike, almost mis mismatched, somewhat un unsettling sometimes. Um, and this is a view out of Dali's window in Catalonia. As you can see from this painting, he was very inspired by da Vinci's symmetry. We have almost mirror images on this side and this side with a Christ-like, almost dream-like figure in the middle. And of course, as I said, this view of Catalonia in the back. Um, another one, let's go to our second one. Uh, some of you might know who did this. This is uh, Andy Warhol, the pop artist from um, the 60s and 70s and 80s. He painted this one in 1986. And actually, um, it's polymer paint and silk screen ink on canvas. And he created a series based on The Last Supper. Um, Warhol was a devout Catholic. And he created these huge fields of color, 25 to 35 feet long. This one, as you can see, is done uh, with a yellow um, tone, but they, he also used hot pink, sometimes camouflage. Um, so very interesting. This hangs in the Baltimore Museum of Art, I believe. I hope that's right. Uh, moving on. Ah, yes. Uh, this is a painting by Susan Dorothea White. As you can see, instead of The Last Supper, this one is called The First Supper. Uh, it was painted in 1988. It's acrylic on panel. It's quite large. Um, this is a politically charged painting that she created uh, at the Bicentennial of um, of the Bicentennial of Australia. And if you want to look more into that, please do. But basically what she's created here is a gathering of women from all around the world who now uh, make up part of Australian society today. And she's featured all um, foods that come from Australia and an Aboriginal woman um, in the middle of the painting uh, where Christ would have been in the Last Supper. Really beautiful. Uh, finally, I want to show you a piece of work uh, by Vic Muniz. He's a Brazilian artist. Uh, <laughs> this is a fun piece. It was originally drawn, or I guess maybe you want to say painted, in chocolate. He did a whole series of these where he used chocolate as his medium. And if you look quite closely at it, you can see uh, all those brown tones. Um, that you might see if you were eating a piece of chocolate. Um, and then he takes it and he makes a chromogenic print of it. Uh, it's called The Last Supper, Pictures of Chocolate, and it was done in 1998. So those are all wonderful works of art that were inspired by The Last Supper. I just want to leave you with this last image. 
I hope you can hold it in your heart and in your mind and carry it with you as we um, experience Holy Week. Thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed these four sessions on The Last Supper by Da Vinci. I know I have, and I hope to see you all very soon. Be safe and take care, and bye for now.